welcome back to the channel so today we are watching 10 pets that ate their owners i like stupid stuff like this so let's get right into it cute furry and are amazing companions but love them as you may they sometimes show a terrible side a side you never would have believed get ready boys and girls coming up are 10 stories of pets who decided to devour their owners number 10 a woman, her hamster, and a strange incident. Hamsters are generally harmless pets. No hell? one would even think of a hamster when considering animals who could kill their owners. But this story shows that thinking once. may just be flawed. In this strange incident, a woman was found dead in her apartment. This, of course, is a sad occurrence, but it isn't too uncommon. However, what made the incident strange was the fact that her pet hamster was feasting on her. Now, again, this isn't too strange if we consider that she may have died of a heart attack. If that had happened, it wouldn't be too shocking to discover that her hamster would feast on her dead body. Now, what made oh this story God. extremely strange is the fact that there were strange markings on her face. After careful investigation, investigators discovered that the woman owned a free-range golden hamster. Upon further investigation, a more macabre site was found. Right inside one of the drawers inside the house was a terrible and downright grotesque sight. It was the hamster's burrow, and it was made of human skin, fat, and muscle tissue. This hamster hadn't only feasted on its owner, it had also made its new home from the body of its oh owner. Oh my now freaking that goodness! Some terrible stuff. That is Number disgusting! Nine, the family ferret and the child. Oh my Many goodness, Abraham. Being. So the lady died, right? So the hamster started eating her. I mean, that's it's not normal, but it's normal because you know she died, so nobody was feeding the hamster. So it had to find something to eat. It couldn't go, it couldn't find anything other than the lady's flesh to eat. Her. So it was also peeling off her skin and building a new house with it. That is disgusting. You know, Can you believe that? No, I can't. That's crazy. I don't want to think about that. Like, what? So even a hamster could be dangerous? That is crazy. I mean, it's not dangerous. She was already dead. I mean, yeah, but still, why Why is it using her skin, though? Because insulation. Why couldn't it go peel off, like, the couch? Or the freaking rug? That is... That, is, that, that shouldn't that is exist in the same place. Brain. A ferret and a baby. They don't know this, but ferrets are dangerous animals, and babies are especially defenseless. Well, many families think that ferrets are... What I don't understand is, people know what animal is dangerous, but they will still go and purchase these animals thinking they are pets. Like, why? I'm pretty sure... She, the, the, I don't want to say it's she, but the parents knew that a ferret is dangerous, but they still went ahead and put it around this child or even bring it into their home. Like, what is wrong with people? Child and cute, they fail to realize that ferrets have other properties too. For it's one, not all about being cute. Sharp, piranha like teeth and have a taste for flesh. Ferrets are basically like what furry thinking? little vampires. One day, a Missouri family was awakened by the crying of their child. They guessed only two things. One, he might be hungry, or two, his diaper may be changing. Mm -hmm. Never in their wildest imagination would they have guessed what they the saw when they doing? walked into the nursery. They met their bloodied child crying because their pet ferret had eaten seven of their baby's ten fingers off. Thankfully, they were able to take their baby to the hospital for recovery, and they managed to kill the ferret. Amazingly, that's not the only example we know of where ferrets tried to kill a baby. In another example, a couple came to their drawing room to meet their newborn baby being eaten alive by their three pet ferrets. Number eight, oh my freaking goodness! Mark Vogel and the deadly spider. Mark Vogel was a 30-year-old from Germany who had the misfortune of owning an... Wait, what? 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 So there are stories like this out there and people are still purchasing these animals? What? What? Like, what? What? Eating the 
baby? Let's get into it. I'm... Army of exotic pets, spiders, snakes, termites, and a gecko. Mark often kept these pets in a cage because he understood how dangerous they were. But of all of his pets, one was especially dangerous. And Mark knew it. However, sometimes even foreknowledge can't help you. One day, the inevitable occurred, and the pet that Mark was most scared of, a black widow spider, escaped her cage. And from then onwards, it was game over. Although black widow spider bites rarely kill people, they can cause muscle cramps. And these muscle cramps... Why keep something that you're scared of? Why? Like, you're scared of it, but it's like me keeping a snake when I'm scared of snakes. What? For what? Animals don't belong in cages. They belong out there in the wild. Where y'all supposed to be leaving them? My lashes look hella horrible. Onto the stage where they can't call for help. It seems this was precisely what happened to Mark. Once he was attacked by the spider, it was over. Soon after, all his pets escaped from the cages he put them in, and they decided to feast on him. When investigators found Mark's body, it was covered in cobwebs, and they estimated that he must have been dead for 7 to 14 days. Number 7. Wait, first of all... Listen to this. So, the Black Widow bit him, or however it does the killing. And then, okay, so when a Black Widow bite you, it basically, like paralyze you or weakens your your muscles where you're not able to do anything right so when the black widow bit him i guess yeah he died and then all the animals got free the black widow set him free <laughs> shut up how did all the animals get free because the black widow Abraham, the Black Widow is not getting the key and exactly. opening the cages. So maybe that story is fabricated. I, I, I didn't want to say that. That's why I said the Black Widow opened it. Never keep a wolf dog. Sandra had raised a pack of nine wolf dogs all on Nine. Her, and she was extremely oh, devoted to them. However, nine. it seemed that the love only went one way. She was devoted to them, but they certainly were not devoted to her. She's feeding them meat. after she missed a meeting with her daughter, her estranged husband went out to look for her, only to discover that her body was in the cage of the wolf dogs, and it had been partly eaten. She had bled to death after being bitten, clawed at, and generally being injured. After her death, the wolf dog hybrids dragged her to their cages to continue the feast. Till today, we don't know why these wolf dogs had behaved like this, but we've learned- Cause they're animals! beware of wolf dogs. They can become quite unpredictable. Number six. The unnamed man and the bull terrier. When this unnamed man from Liverpool didn't show up to a local events for a while, his neighbors got worried. They called the police to check out his home to see if something was wrong. The police went to check on him and they found his corpse. Upon entering his house, his dog, a bull terrier, was highly agitated. At first, the police officers imagined that the dog was that way because his owner was dead. However, upon further investigation, it was discovered that the dog had been feasting on its owner for a while. That's right, the bull terrier had eaten parts of his owner before the police found him. Number five, the story of Janet Veal and her feline friends. Janet Veal was a British 56-year-old reclusive cat owner. She had several cats and rarely left her home. However, after a very long time of not seeing Janet, her neighbors called on the police to come and check out her home. When they came, the sight they met was just extraordinary. Janet was dead in her kitchen, and she was surrounded by dead and living cats. The living cats had survived by gnawing off pieces of her body, and the dead ones had simply starved to death. Imagine being a police officer and finding such a scene. Number four. I feel like that's normal. The cats had to live some way, somehow. So, they, so she have like multiple cats and then she died in her kitchen and some of the cats started eating her. And then some of them just basically starved to death. But like, why didn't they just eat the other, the other cats that died? They like cannibals. 
Why didn't they just eat the other cats that died? Like, why they had to eat the owner who loved and fed them for probably some of them their whole lives? Like, but like, isn't the bot? Obviously, animals don't think the way we do, but like, isn't the body getting rotten? So y'all basically sitting there eating rotten meat. The hogs. Look at that big old pig. No worse way to go than being eaten and dismembered by hogs. And pigs eat there, anything. You think the worst way to go out. Maybe by drowning in a pot of boiling oil. Seriously, that's the only way worse than being dismembered by a couple of domestic pigs. Sad as this situation may sound, it was one that befell one farmer in Oregon. Terrence Vance Garner, a 69-year-old farmer, went to feed his animals on his farm near the Oregon coast and never returned. Soon enough, a family member found his dentures and pieces of his body in the hog enclosure. Sadly, most of his remains had been consumed by the hogs. No, this doesn't mean that the hogs ambushed Terrence when he came to the farm. What's more likely is that Terrence had a medical emergency, like a heart attack, and fell right in the middle of the hogs. That could have led them to feasting on him. Another likely reason for Terrence's death is that he may have been knocked down by a hog, was killed by a stampede, and then eaten. This is a likely explanation because at they least ate one every hog part had of him. Previously bitten Terrence. But his teeth. This situation was especially and little strange pieces because of flesh. hogs are not known to be violent. Which probably just fell out of their mouth. Stranger things have happened. Number three. The bull. Bulls would be extremely scary animals if they had a taste for blood. But they don't. For the most part, bulls just want to laze around and eat some grass. At least this seems to be the general idea. However, sometimes general ideas are just that. General ideas. Ricky was a man who loved his cattle. He loved spending time with them, and he spent more time with them as a calf was about to be born. He had a barn for his domesticated pets in Philadelphia, and he often spent his time there. Sadly, the farm was where he would spend his last breathing moments. The day before his 53rd birthday, one of his bulls, in a fit of rage, charged him and injured him fatally. He died from his injuries. Number two, Marius and the hippopotamus. When you see a hippopotamus, what do you think? Are you scared out of your mind or yes. are you perfectly indifferent? No, I am scared out of my context, mind. Consider this I've never even seen one, but. Hippopotamuses are the most dangerous animals in the world. The planet. Yes, even more dangerous than lions and tigers. But and their teeth, jaguars, their teeth are really strong. Look at that. A freaking watermelon. Now that you know this fact Look at the animals, mouth. Would you Your whole head could fit in there. No, right? Well, Marius didn't care about that. He owned a hippopotamus regardless, and he paid dearly for it. Marius kept his pet hippopotamus at his farm in Free State, a province of South Africa. Despite being warned several times about the dangers of keeping such a dangerous animal as a pet, he didn't budge. Instead, he referred to the animal as a son to him, and he shunned the advice of everyone else. Well, a few years ago, he was found floating in the river. Of course. His body had been thoroughly chewed up by the hippopotamus. It was a sad sight, of course, but no one was seriously shocked. It was always going to happen. Number one. The Bengal tiger, black bear, and the African lion. Tigers, bears, and lions are scary on their own, but combining three of them? That's Together! A recipe for a nightmare. Together! Actually, a lady named Kelly Ann Walls decided... This lady or these people, they own a lion, a tiger, and a bear. That's a little more sane than owning a hippo, though. The, I mean, yeah. No, it still, it still doesn't make I'm sense. It's a little more sane because there's a lot of more, there's a lot more people with those type of pets. Well, I don't know about the bear, but a lion, a tiger, there's people that actually have that in their homes. But a hippo, you can't. You can't tame a hippo. You can't tame a hippo. You can't. You can't. They're extremely territorial too, so. Yeah, but no, the hippo, you know what I'm thinking about? Like somebody just putting their head up in there and that hippo would just crush that. You, They put a freaking watermelon in the mouth and that thing crushed it without even thinking about it. Yeah, the hippo's jaws are very strong. And I don't understand why. They only have like four teeth in their mouth. Right, hippos bully alligators. <laughs> what if <laughs> what if your clothes get stuck inside the hippo? 
<laughs> I'm gonna do this, but then when you try to turn around, I'm gonna do that. Gonna that way he turns around. and then you fall, you see it right there. Nope. As soon as I land, I'm running. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running you have to this. get up first. A lion is a part cat. You will have to. It, Oh my part God. Cat, right? Abraham, so if man. your claws were so off topic right now, <laughs> if your are claws right? are stuck in the fling, you, you're gonna fall on your back or your hands first, but was stuck somewhere, is that just gonna land on his paws? Say that to a cat. So, anyways, <laughs> as soon as I land, I'm gonna get up and run. I'm fashioning. So you can try to Lions are not real freaking match was giraffe. Who, who, who the king of the jungle though? Gorilla. Why are they the king of the jungle? Uh, actually what? elephants. Elephants don't even live in the jungle. Yes they do. No. Where they live? Don't ask me that. But they don't live Lions in the don't even live in the jungle. They don't. Exactly. So a freak technically a freaking tiger is the king of the jungle. A tiger can't be a lion. Have you ever seen that fight? Have you ever seen it? <laughs> yes. You realize there's no movie that put a lion and a tiger against each other? I don't know if there's no movie, but I haven't seen a movie. They don't want to do that because they know what happened. But I'm pretty sure a tiger is stronger than a lion. But anyways, now my video is extra long and I didn't even want it to be Who that long. that? But anyways. This lady owned a lion, a tiger, and a freaking bear. That's the number one, right? Yeah. Of course, that's why you're so stupid. That's why you're number one, you get three. They enjoy the animals. Have you ever seen a liger? Yeah, they're pretty. Pretty? Them motherfuckers is huge. Let me finish. Let me finish. But anyways, this lady owns a lion, a tiger, and a freaking bear. That's like a disaster waiting to happen. Like, you just woke up one day and said, oh, let me go get a tiger. Oh, let me go get a lion. Oh, let me go get a tiger, uh, a freaking bear. For what? I hope she don't have kids. Honest to God. And that she'd keep three of them. And it ended just as you think it would. One day, while she was cleaning the cage of her black bear, she got mauled to death. Mm -hmm. Neighbors witnessed the attack and consequently called the authorities. But it was too little, too late. She was dead. And that was about that. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Wasn't even a lion and a tiger. I'm telling you. Like, what? So my point is, what's the point of you telling us about a lion and a tiger? I'm, what? I, you're so stupid if person is. Wait. Why are you even cleaning the cage with the animal in it? For real. That dumb. But, wait. I thought he, I thought he was going to say. That jumps? No. Yeah. But then after she, he said the bear... Killed her. I thought she was gonna say he was gonna say the tiger and the lion ate her, but <laughs> the that. tiger and lion didn't do anything. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It makes sense because people have lions and tigers in their homes. I don't know about bears. I never heard of anybody trying to keep a bear. And that was like the last thing I thought was gonna be the one to kill her, <laughs> because I know bear. I know bears kill people, but I never heard of a bear eating people. A, bear was, just a, bear. Bl a black bear. Oh, why? Why? But the, I feel like the black bear is the least dangerous of all the other bears, though. The grizzly and the brown bear. The I don't think that bear just got up and just hit her. You can't mess with those. She probably hit him back. She probably hit him first. Why? This is not something to provoke it, or maybe they didn't feed it enough. You know what I'm saying? The bears are huge. Requires a lot of food. Maybe the person didn't have that much money. But then again, if you can get a lion, a tiger, and a tiger, and a bear, and a bear you got bears, money. Yeah. I really thought the bear, the tiger, and the lion was gonna be the one to kill this lady. But anyways, guys, <laughs> this is the end of this video. This was actually very interesting. I actually like watching stuff like this. I actually do enjoy watching stuff like this. I actually do watch stuff like this on a daily basis. So it was actually nice for you guys to finally see my reaction. But anyways, yeah, I love animals. I love learning about animals. I love just I would just basically sit and watch animal documentaries all day. So I personally don't think animals are meant to be pets. I don't care what kind of animal it is. A roach, a freaking mouse, whatever, dogs, cats, 
whatever you can think of. I don't think animals are meant to be pets. I think they're meant to be in the wild where they were originally before you put in your house. But anyways, I don't like zoos. I don't like going out to places where animals are just basically in cages because I just see them. The most place I would go is like a safari. Because, I mean, they're not in, like, their national habitat, habit, habitat, or their original habitat, right? That you say it? Habitat. Habitat. Okay. But, <laughs> but at the same time, they're, like, not stuck in a cage being forced to just sit there. So, that's why I only go to safaris and stuff, but... You will never catch me at a zoo. I've never been to a zoo because I feel like when I go there, I would just feel bad for the animals. I don't like people who own wild animals, lions, tigers, bears, snakes, yeah, sharks, freaking anacondas, pythons and stuff, deadly animals, and just keeping them in like a cage. Like, these animals, especially tigers. Like, tigers don't stay still, right? Like, they move a lot, right? I think so. Lions are lazy, though. Like, I feel like, and even snakes. Snakes slither a lot. They, they don't really stay in one location. But when you guys are putting them in these little freaking cages, you're just limiting their movements, and you're telling them just stay right here all day, all night. Like, I don't like it. So, I don't really, like... Like, going to zoos and stuff. And I think people who have animals, really dangerous animals, and you know they are dangerous and you still have them, I think you're stupid. Like, I don't really see anything else to say about that, but you're stupid. Like, and then when they kill you, I feel like, I don't mean to say this, but you they kind of deserve it. Like, what? why would you decide to keep a hippo? A freaking black widow. He kept, he have a black widow. And that's the animal that he's afraid of the most. He went to the face and you know it's a spider. You don't even know how the sp how a spider can get out of the cage. The video that it show is the spider escaped and it, it ended up in his socks. So he put the socks on. Put his shoes on. The shit bit him. Maybe the socks was too big for his foot. Maybe, maybe the socks had this, you know, like the little space in the front. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, I would have stretched that so far. And then the way. thing bit him. And then all the animals got free. That's the point. That's the, that's like the only story that's just like don't not, huh? Don't make sense. It don't make sense. It's not sitting well with me. Like how did the other animals get free? How did the... The freaking thing get free in the first place. What? The um The Black Widow? Yeah. How did it get free from the cage or from in the socks? From the cage. I maybe he was trying to clean the cage yeah, and then forgot to close it. Not even forget to close it. It was probably it was probably like slide on the other side. He thought it was in the back. True story. But anyways, guys, this video's already is too long. <clears throat> How long is it? Thirty minutes. Damn. And she be talking about my videos. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe out there. Make good choices. Bye-bye. See ya. Love ya. <laughs> Stay safe out there, guys. Please make good choices. Don't be like these people. If you want a pet, just get a cat and a dog. Even cats and dogs are killing people, but bye. <laughs>